Hey, what's happening? Good morning. Happy Thursday to everybody. It's Daryl here. It's bright and freaking early. It's 4 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. Okay, guess who I'm going to talk about today? Guess who said something brilliant? I'm being sarcastic. Herschel Walker. All right, and uh, this is going to be a largely hypothetical conversation. Um, and again, I'm going to try to use empathy too in this. As anybody that watches my channel a lot knows I use empathy. Okay, Herschel Walker came out with another. It was it was it wasn't just ignorant and kind of stupid, but it it, it was dangerous. It really is. Okay, what did he say? Herschel Walker recently said that uh, trans kids might be have to worry because when they go to heaven, Jesus might not recognize them. You know, and then he said something along the lines like, "Well, I made you a girl." You know. Okay. So now trans kids, trans kids have enough issues. There's a high incidence of depression and suicide amongst trans kids. Trans kids. I'll put the suicide hotline prevention number down below. Um, this is where empathy comes in. Just because I cannot understand what it's like to to feel like that I'm in somebody else's like that I'm uh, I'm actually a girl. You know, to me it doesn't it doesn't you know I, I can't relate to that. You know, I'm I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a male. I've always felt like a male ever since I was I can remember. But when I listen, you know, this isn't about manipula manipulation and lying. I've talked about that in other videos. You know how I'm how I I feel that I'm fairly a fairly fairly good at that. But this is more about empathy. When you see what these these trans people go through, and you look in their eyes, you could see that they truly truly are feeling they feel tortured that they're in the wrong body you know and just because i i don't i can't relate to that myself by looking at them i i could understand I, I could get a small glimpse into the pain and depression and aches and and uh fear they must be feeling always feeling not not at home in their own body okay so, Herschel Walker, again, I've talked about this before, too. Whenever anybody, I see anybody speak for a deity or a uh, supernatural being saying that they think they know what this uh, supernatural being wants or says, or they talk to the supernatural or they talk to a deity, you know, they know what this, this, this God wants and, you know, and you're, in, you're not it. Whenever I hear that, I think this person is a freaking liar, a big fat liar, um, and more, even more than that, it's, 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 when, when somebody lies about something like that, it, it's just, it goes beyond deception, you're, you're really messing with people's beliefs, okay, all right, so I, I gave this a little more thought, okay, so what if, what if, what if, does this make sense, okay, so, there's other people that are going to go to heaven. What I started thinking about people. What about people with tattoos, facial tattoos? Will, will God? And let's not get into the debate. I, I've, even though I'm, I'm Christian, I've, I've never really fully understood the difference between the Holy Spirit, the name of God, the Father, our Father, God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. I, I've never really understood. So I'm, they're going to be kind of uh, interchangeable in this video. Okay, so say, or let's say this. <laughs> How about uh, our, our great vets from the Army, the Marines, the Navy, the Air Force? A lot of them have had horrible uh, injuries, you know, fighting for our country. And they've been horribly disfigured or burned. So they, they no longer look like themselves. When they go to heaven, Jesus might not recognize them. Because they don't look anything like what he created. You know, is, is, is it true for them too? Uh, when somebody switches hair color. Uh, when somebody gets a facelift, uh, breast enlargements, <laughs> you know, are, are these, you know, well, I, I gave you A cups and you have D cups, so I, I don't recognize you. Sorry, you're out of here. Oh, is, is that it? I'm going to, I'm going to propose a different idea. No, as far as I, I, again, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a, uh, you know, I don't, uh, I'm not knowledgeable in this area, but when I see these people, when I see trans people talk, it, it really appears that. They, they, they truly believe their soul, their very being is one gender that's not the body that they're in, okay? So what if, 
what if it wasn't? What if God really wanted this person to be a girl? What if, say, when the sperm comes together with the embryo, with the, the egg and the embryo is formed, there's DNA, right? And, and God knows we've, we've got enough uh, pollutants, uh, the ozone layer, and the radiation coming in from the sun. What if the DNA from the sperm and the egg and this person was supposed to be male? They come together in the embryo, but there's damage to the DNA due to human pollution, it's, you know, there's uh, there's fe uh, fetal alcohol syndrome, stuff like that. What if, it, it seems very possible to me, that the DNA in this egg and this sperm, this this uh, this embryo, was meant to be, I believe in a soul, I, I, without a doubt, I believe in a soul. So let's say this, this, this creation was formed to be male or, or female. Let's say it's meant to be female, but due to damage to us, to human beings, to, from pollution or radiation or what have you, the, 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 the millions of pollutants and drugs and radiation that are in our atmosphere. What if the DNA was damaged? And when that embryo starts to form, instead of the female that it was meant to be, it becomes a male or vice versa. You know, what if God really meant this to be a God if you believe it or you don't, or the universe, or, or whatever you believe in. You know, that this, this, if you just believe in science, this egg and this sperm, you know, were meant to be uh, male. But there was damage. And, and that's believable. That's completely believable that there might have been a, a, a strand or genomes or something damaged. And all of a sudden, the development takes a course that it shouldn't have. And... This this one this embryo that should have was meant to be male or female comes out the other way. What if God, God or the universe or whatever or science or biology had meant this being to be female? And through our own pollution and our own creations and our own uh, the ozone layer and all this stuff, this this accident occurred. So in that case, by following through in them believing in 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 trans in trans going transgender transgendering from a male to a female they're actually becoming what god created them to be so in that case they they wouldn't have been recognized by god unless they had trans over to a girl what if who's to say i'm wrong and and herschel walker's right or herschel right walker's right and i'm wrong or either one of us are both wrong, or either, either one of us are both right. Who's to say? Because I don't speak for God, I don't speak to, for deities, and I don't speak for supernatural entities. I, I have a fairly good sense of empathy. And I know what I see in these people, and they believe 100% their entire lives that they're in the wrong body, that they're wrong sex. And they seem tortured by it. And if there's something that science or medic... medic uh, uh, medical community community could do to lessen their depression and their torture and their suicidal feelings maybe that's the right thing just a thought all right the links will be down below so you can read his idiotic statement yourselves you guys have a great thursday